Hello, my name is Dmitry, and we have a very nice problem to solve today, which you can see on my screen. As usual, first step will be to visualize this problem. I created a graph that you can see on the right, which correlate to all five questions we have to answer today. And we will not answer those questions in the order they were given to us, but instead we will uh, start with those that I think the most simple one, and they will actually help us to answer the other. As soon as they answer it, we will use those answers to answer the rest of them. C and D. The C question asks, what was the height from which the fireworks were launched? So you need to ask yourself, what does it mean, firework will launch it? How do I convert this into the math? Well, when firework will launch it, it means time start counting. And by the way, this graph over here, what does it, what it shows us? It shows us how the height was changed over the time. So at very initial moment, when firework will launch it, the time was zero. And as soon as we figured it out, we can use the zero to substitute and put T as zero in our equation, uh, relation, and we will immediately have our equations to be solved and we have answer right away, two meters. Question number D is really no much different from question number C. We just use two seconds to calculate the high in it answer will be 82 meters. Very simple, pure logic, nothing else. Now, question number E, at what time did empty fireworks cause and reach the ground? Same thing when you need to ask yourself, what does it mean cause and reach the ground? You can answer this question differently. You can say, well, speed will be zero. Uh, we stop counting, and that's actually the time we need to find out. But height, what would happen with height? High will be probably initial, which those two meters, we, the fireworks will launch. And if so, we have everything we need to solve our equation. High is zero, I mean two, and then we have this equation and we can solve it. And notice please that this solution this equation has two different solutions, 0 and 10, but the answer with t equals 0 obviously need to be excluded. Now, I provided solution for the um, height equals 0 because problem really doesn't say anything about it reached the initial. I think it just uh, really this solution was assumption, but you know, technically this is also correct. So you, you know, you need it will, it will be a little bit more than 10 seconds. Now we go to the last part for the question A and B. And you can solve it differently. You can apply advanced math such as a calculus and you know, take a derivative of this function. But really, it's not necessary for this problem. Instead, you can just look at this relationship and ask yourself what it consists of and you will see that this part consists of something that is always negative and another part is multiply on something that is always positive because it is square so result of this multiplication will be always negative and if it's so negative plus 127 will always decrease the value, so the high will be always goes down. Except one scenario, when this part is zero, and this is the winner for the maximum height. When it is zero, it means the high will be maximum, which is 127, which we immediately have a solution for this. But um, yeah, um, and when it will be zero, it will be zero when t is equal five seconds. That's all. Um, we solve 
all we answered all questions we solve all problems very simple but just applying a pure logic and this is what mostly the math is about just apply logic and think what you can get from that thank you very much for watching this video Allah see you next time bye